Hello everyone, welcome. I am Brother Azan and David. I just want to share with us a word of encouragement this morning. Uh, there are so many people who are passing through hard times and many of them are already giving up. But giving up is not even an option. <laughs> the Lord knows everything we are passing through in this world. He said in his word that when we go through the fire, he will be with us. We will not be burnt when we go through the rivers. The waters shall not overflow us. He is always with us. In Exodus chapter 14, verses 14 and 15, God told the Israelites that the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Also in verse 15, uh, God told Moses that tell the children of Israel to move forward. Why are you crying to me? Tell them to move forward. And I just want to tell you that move forward. There is no need to give up. Giving up is not even an option. There are times you just make up your mind, like what Job said, that even if worms consume my flesh, I'm not going to give up. I know I will definitely, definitely see my Lord one day. I will see him with my own eyes. I am going to see him. There are times you just fully conclude in your heart that in this race of Christianity, no matter what, whether in poverty, in wealth, in sickness, or in health, in sorrow, or in joy, I am not going to give up. I will still keep holding on to him. God told Moses, tell the children of Israel to move forward. Move forward to where? Move forward. There was a Red Sea, and at their back, the Egyptians were, uh, were there. So God said, move forward. Move forward to the Red Sea. There was no way. But I tell you, even the temptation itself will make a way of escape. The Red Sea provided a pathway for the children of Israel to walk through. So don't even give up. Even if you come to the end of the road, so long as you are still with God, so long as you are still in line with God, don't give up. God knows your life. He knows everything about your life. Don't drop your faith because you're passing through hell. Don't drop your faith. Don't drop your belief. Don't stop doing good because things are not working out well. Keep moving on. Even when people are laughing at you, even when it seems so rough, don't give up. Remember, the earth, we're not going to stay here for too long. We will soon leave. We will soon leave. Even as we talk now, the rapture could just take place. And then, we will go. So you get ready. Don't let troubles make you give up. Re remember, the, the race is not for those who were serving God yesterday. It is for those who are watching every minute. Jesus will soon return. Are you watching? Are troubles taking away your attention? Don't let the troubles take away your attention. Be rapture ready. Wait for the coming of Jesus Christ. He could come. Remember the... Ten virgins. All of them were virgins. They were all good. The only problem is that some met with problems of sh shortages. And they went. When the master came, they discovered, the master discovered that only five were ready. It's not because the other five had lost their virginity. No, it is because they gave up. At a point in time, their faith, their patience became exhausted. So at every, the Bible says that your head should not lack all. At every point in time, don't lack all. At every point in time, don't give up. Even when you are without strength, even when you are without any hope for tomorrow, don't give up. Just keep holding on because the moment you give up, Jesus may return. Or death may come for you. You don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when you're going to leave this world. So why giving up? Just hold on to your faith. You are not in a competition with anybody. Even if people are making it and you are not making it, it doesn't mean you are a failure. You are only a failure in the sight of your God. You are only a winner in the sight of your God. So if people may be seeing you as a failure, but so long as you still hold on to your faith, you have not failed. So don't allow people to run you down and tell you you have failed in life. No. 
keep, so long as your faith in Christ is still on, so long as you have not, you, you, you do not slide into sin and start living in sin, so long as you are waiting for the return of your Lord, keep holding on. People were telling Job, even the wife of Job told Job, why don't you even curse God and die? Even the friends came and ran him down, but Job never gave up on his God. People were saying, you are living in sin. If you are not a sinner, God would have answered you. You wouldn't have been passing through all this. Remember, Job was not even pre-informed that God was as releasing Satan to tempt him. He was not informed. So it was just like, okay, these things are coming and I just need to hold on a little longer. I just need to hold on unto my God. I don't just need not give up my faith. Job was just holding on. He never knew. God never told him that, well, um, uh, Satan will be coming to tempt you. He was not told. He was just holding on to God, holding on to his faith. And I tell you, he received everything. Even in the face of death, don't give up. In the face of the gun, when they put the gun on your head and said, if you don't reject, uh, if you do not reject Christ, we're going to release a bullet on you. Please tell them to release a bullet. We have a better life after this world. Don't give up. Don't let poverty, don't let hardship, don't let people letting you down, let you give up on your faith. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Susanna E. e. David and Igwa Yopuna. Thank you. Share this word to somebody that is about giving up. God bless you. Bye-bye.